Hey guys, it's Britt with Dead Over It, and you can't see my face right now, but I have been working really, really hard in the kitchen, and I wanted to bring to you a recipe that I thought that I could put a whole new um, spin on. So this is what I'm calling um, potato nachos. It's not a revolutionary concept, but I refuse to eat subpar meals. I just won't do it. Um, and it got me to thinking, like, I have a lot of cooking experience, so why don't I just try to make affordable meals that are really, really delicious and healthy and cost effective. So here we've got um, what I call potato nachos and essentially I have made uh, my sister's version of um, some really delicious potato wedges and then I've got a cilantro garlic lime corn. I've got some chili beans with gravy and then I've also got a little bit of pico as well as some, um, it's vegan cheddar ranch sauce. Um, so that, so that in itself is like a brand new concept. So I'm just gonna give this a taste here and see if like I tried too hard and like overshot it or if this is like as good as I think it's gonna be because I've of course been taste testing. So as it cooks, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm gonna eat it like a normal person and I'm gonna like, that sauce is really good. I was really nervous about the, um, the dairy-free cheese sauce because I really struggle with substitutes because I'm not a vegan, so if I really want like a meatloaf or something, I'll just eat a meatloaf. Like, I'll just make myself a meatloaf and eat it, but Oh my gosh, this is so good. I know I'm being really rude right now, but hold on, let me try and flip you up. My apartment's a mess, so you've been warned, but. And now you're crooked too. Sorry, I like didn't think this through. This, okay, so that's like a smaller portion than normal because I couldn't wait so I had Rice Krispies. This is really, really, really good. Um, holy cow pie. So, I'm really, really glad that this recipe worked out. Um, because I'm writing a cookbook. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's convenient that this worked out because I wasn't going to say anything if it tasted weird, but... I think the thing I like the most about this recipe, ghost don't bark, is the um, dairy free nacho sauce because it definitely, I miss cheese. Like I physically cannot eat cheese anymore or dairy. So I wanted something that definitely had like cheesy hints. But like I said, I really struggle with substitutes. Like it just kind of, kind of grosses me out. I haven't experimented that much, but this is really good. So. Um, yeah, this is really, really good. Um, but I was doing some meal planning for next week because it's just like, it's something I used to do. I used to shop weekly for groceries and plan everything out. And by the time I got done, my meals for next week and the week after are like for the entire day, less than $5. So stay tuned, there's more to come. Cause I know what I like and I think I'm a pretty good cook. Um, but I'm always trying to like push the boundaries, so yeah, potato nachos for the win. Um, I'll include that cheese sauce if you're interested. So anyway, everything is great. Friday was like a struggle, which kind of led into like a struggle weekend, but thank goodness I have ghosty. We're just watching Finding Nemo, or no, we're watching Finding Dory because it's on Netflix. And um, I have jumped to a new study um, course for my PHR because the original one I bought, like I didn't even spend a whole week on it and I'm already at 92% like completion or accuracy or score or grade or whatever you wanna call it, but I'm like, there's no way. 
after a week of studying that I'm ready to ace my PHR. So I found something that's like way harder for the same price. So yeah, so it's super exciting. But um, budget wise, I'm actually on track. So I get paid on the 15th and I'm really excited to like build up all of those little um, funds that I have set aside on YNAB that my auto pay I mean, it all comes from my bank account, but to watch each of them clear my bank account and then to see the transaction clear um, on YNAB is exciting for me. So anyway, you'll be seeing this on Valentine's Day and you guys are all my Valentines. Wow, that's a weird looking heart. Anyway, y'all are my Valentines and I couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you so much for watching. The ghost says hi. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.